What's going on guys, Reverend Say here, and today I'm bringing you guys a video that was pretty much much requested uh, on one of my videos a while back when I was talking about um, what videos I'm going to do before Kide Ghost comes out. And uh, this one was a stats video, so I decided I was going to do that. It was going to be one of my last videos I did uh, for Black Ops 2. So here it is, I'm going to go over both my accounts. This one, which is my main account where I did all my challenges, messed around, just played for, you know, almost all the time and then recently created the Averall account uh, which I played on a bit and we're gonna go over those stats it's kinda my tryhard account because I wanted to see what my true potential was stats wise uh, so we're gonna go ahead and look at that this one's my, also my competitive one so my league rank is in Masters 84 is my highest uh, I actually was maintaining top 10 for like the first week in a season and then literally after that I didn't play league the rest of the season so that's why my I'm only rank 84 because I get knocked down because everyone's playing everyone has more time to, than I do to play league and uh, Everyone can stand it longer than I can. I can't keep going like that. I can't grind it out that much uh, But 84 is not too bad. I guess uh, I really did love league. I'm gonna miss it I love the competitive play style and teams and stuff like that. So that's that we're gonna go ahead and go right into the stats now 1.8 KD pretty darn good with 66,571 kills 1782 wins uh, my win loss career or win loss ratio is a little bit uh, low. It's a little bit negative there. Uh, that's due to messing around and doing so many challenges. I lose so many games doing that. Uh, kind of stinky. Score per minute is 378, and my KD once again is 1.8 right there. You see my total score right there. That's a lot of score. 8,136,560. Uh, I never really had too many uh, too many um, emblems or anything like that. Uh, that's just because I, I, I don't really just, like try to get emblems or, or I mean the player cards or anything like that the titles and stuff I don't really try to do that uh, Four unstoppable medals. I think I've got like three nuclears and I always would die like right then my highest one is a mega kill I never got too many feeds like that um, <clears throat> Deadliest weapons MSMC 13,101 kills guys <laughs> uh, The M8 slowly, you know right next to it slowly started creeping up on the MSMC with 9500 and then the AN94 with 5500. Lightning Strike 1542 kills. Not too bad I guess. Uh, how many bloodthirsty headshots? 4738 headshots. That's a lot. That's a lot of headshots. Uh, game modes. Best game mode domination. 540 wins. Win half the time. Or a little over half. Uh, that's not bad. Best win streak 21. That's with me and prestigious keep playing together. Pretty nuts. Team deathmatch win loss ratio is a lot higher because you know it's just killing. Uh, S and D, I I rarely lose S and Ds. I really do because it's just pub S and Ds are too are too easy. Hard point, I didn't really play hard point or kill confirmed or any of these other ones too much. Uh, so I, I can't really say any too much about those. Here's my medals, guys. Yeah, three nuclears. I was right. Eight brutals, 27 relentlesses, 132 ruthless. Not too bad. 508 mercilesses. That is like a lot of kills if you think about it. 2,799 bloodthirsties. Not too bad. Fury kills. That's that's not too many at all, man. Uh, I bet you Ryan's got like thousands of those. He just gets those feeds like crazy. Bank shot. I don't really hardly. I've like never used tomahawks really. Uh, I, I hardly ever use them at all. So there's my uh, headshots there. I think is that a different number? I think that's a different number than it says I got. That's kind of weird. Eh, I don't really care. It's all good to me. <laughs> Score streaks here and stuff like that. Nah. Metals. They're just metals. Here's my weapons again. Below the uh, the A94 Z Cap 40 back when it was uh, okay to use in League because everyone used it. There's a PDW 57, you know, stuff like that. But that MSMC, man, that was my baby. That's my favorite gun of all time in all of Call of Duty is the MSMC. Um, I, I just love that gun. I don't even know why. Uh, the M8's close behind it. A94 is a good gun too. I had a higher KD with that. I just realized that. Uh, I haven't used the FAL. I love the FAL, but I didn't really use it too much uh, after I reset my stats. Just uh, one less than 2,000 kills right there. I had 2.8 KD with it though. It's not bad. My equipment, concussions. I actually stopped using uh, throwables for a long time. Use my score streaks, UAVs, lightnings, hellstorms, orbital V sets. Uh, how many swarms did I have? I had 145 swarms. That's not too bad, I guess. 209, 202 doggies. 1,004 kills with those. Man, oh man, those things stack up. Phew. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the uh, stats on this this account. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my other account right now, guys. And 
And we're back with my Adderall second account. Yes, called Adderall, based after the drug that uh, people say a lot of the pro teams were using at, I think, Anaheim to help them focus so they play better. Yeah, Adderall. I actually did get um, accused of use taking Adderall because my name was Adderall. Someone literally sent me a message and said, Oh my gosh, you take Adderall to play a game better. What a great way to screw up your body. And I just thought it was hilarious. So uh, I, the name pretty much achieved what I was trying to get it to achieve. <laughs> There's my player card. That is based off of the Devil Wars Prada CD, their newest one, 818. I'm a big fan of theirs, so that's that. Let's get right into it. Stats, 3.8 KD. That dropped. It was up to a 4.2 at one point. Then I had some bad games, and then I was streaming. And I can't. I don't play as good on stream because I don't have my full connection potential. Uh, so that really did drop uh, down to a 3.8. So it kind of sucked. My my win loss is up over 1.07. Uh, it was up over 2.0 at one point. Uh, but then when I was playing with uh, Mr. Prestigious Key, and then when I would play by myself, I wouldn't win as much because of randoms and stuff like that. So it kind of sucked. Score per minute 529. Uh, that's actually grown no matter what. Uh, it has not stopped. So it's pretty good. I'm at Prestige 1, level 15, so I'm pretty sure these stats do kind of reflect on my total um, skill as a player because I went through the ranks one entire time, plus 15 levels. So, yeah, I think it reflects pretty nicely. So that's my full potential right there uh, with the ability to hit up 4.0 for a while. And, and above, just trying to keep it maintaining is a, a lot really difficult, actually, maintaining a 4.0. Use a combat summary using the FAL. Try hard. Told you guys it was super try hard. Uh, um account uh, i did start using the msmc a lot more and i was actually doing i was doing work with it the other day dropping 70 bombs and 80 bombs in domination so i had a lot of fun two the three relentlesses of one frenzy kill uh nothing too spectacular on this account because i haven't had it for too long uh my kd with the fal is 3.49 2.03 with the mp7 2.12 with the msmc so pretty good uh, this time I, I, I planned on going through the uh, ranks this time with the DM8, um, but seeing as how Ghost is coming out, I will not be doing that. And I'll have to end the uh, subscription to Xbox Live for this account soon too, because I can't afford to have two accounts going all the time. So yeah, that's that. So that's the last of this count you guys will see for a while, uh, at least for now. Um, until Ghost really starts getting out and I hit the ranks with uh, my main account. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know your stats down below. Why not? Drop your win-loss, drop your score per minute, drop your KD. But remember, guys, the most important thing in Call of Duty and how good you are is not your KD. It's actually your score per minute and your win-loss win ratio. If your, your KD is like mine and 3.8 and it's like 0.20 win-loss ratio, then it doesn't exactly mean you're the best player. You could just be sitting in, you know, in a corner camping, you know. So the better player is the person who plays as a team and plays the objective, not the person who's getting the high KD. Just because they're getting tons of kills does not mean they're going to win all the time. And that's what you want. You want the guy winning, not the guy getting all the kills. I dropped a 71 kill game and, and like eight deaths a couple days ago, and my team lost. I was getting the objectives, but none of my teammates were. So it's it sucks. You can you can do that good and still lose. So it's better to have a score per minute and a win loss ratio than it is to have a KD high KD ratio. Uh, and actually, the average KD ratio in Call of Duty is negative. It's like 0.68, I think, is the average KD. So if you've got a positive KD, you're above average. You really are. There's just so many people who play this game. So, uh, but that's that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, why don't you drop your stats down below? I'd love to see what you guys got. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. I cannot wait for Ghost. Be on the lookout for more info about what's going on. I'm going to be streaming uh, the heck out of that game. I'm going to be making the videos like crazy, and it's going to be a ton of fun. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.